Welcome back, everybody. This is Mad Rafiki here. We are back for the next episode on this wonderful little world here. Um, and as you can see, I'm on the Carno that we tamed last episode. This baby, this baby is actually really awesome. Uh, so he's already 225. You know, not that much health, really. Um, great melee weight. Could be better, but I mean, it's, it's, doing its doing its job. 100% doing its job. Um, so as you can see here, just been working on a little bit of a platform. I think this is just going to be the basics. Or, or the small the small base and I'm probably just gonna litter this place with a bunch of small buildings uh, primarily this one right here is just gonna be a place for storage um, which I really need a lot of but in order to get all of that put together we need ourselves a little bit of, um, of wood and I just happen to be flying right over there with the with the RG and there is a 140 mammoth now, one of the beautiful things about this little guy is that I can actually, or I should be able to, right? Oh, wait, can I not? Oh. Oh, I can't. Wait a second. I thought I could. Oh, I thought I could. Hmm. I cannot. It might be a job. Yeah, it's 100% going to be a job for... You know what? I'm going to take both of them, I think. I'm going to take the Carno, and I'm going to take the... Da, 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 the Berry. Where's the Berry at? You, sir. Follow me. Disgusting. Disgusting. You're on camera, man. You're on camera. Please. Keep it together. Uh, so I'm going to take the berry and I'm going to take the carno. And I'm going to see if I can tame myself. Um, tame my soof, that mammoth. Which we're going to need to let starve out for quite a while. So I, I should be able to get back here for berries and whatnot. Um, so let me head right over there. It should be just around the corner here. Some dilos. Yeah, nothing really interesting. I think there's two alphas here. Um, two alphas here, but I think I think the Carno should 100% be able to take them. There's an alpha Carno, and there is an alpha Raptor somewhere around here. Alpha Carno spotted. You're gonna stay right there, Barry. In fact, I'm gonna put you on passive. I don't want you to get involved with this. He should be going out soon here. It's a pretty good crossbow. Oh my god, if I could, like, hit him. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Kill the Carno, kill the Carno, kill the Carno. Get away from... Please just pass out. Please don't die. Here I am saying there's nothing much that spawns up here. Cardinal just walks right up, starts chomping on his butt. Okay, he's out. Okay. Boom, he's out. Alright. 
How close to death were you? Yeah, he still had a thousand health. Okay. Um, hmm. What do I need? I need spiky stuff. Okay, our first victim has been spotted. Um, except there's a bunch of stuff with it. What do we get? I had a 30. So 100. Okay. 30. Where's the uterus? There it is. Ah, it's level 10. Okay. So that should go down like relatively easy. Um, and I'm thinking. I mean, I'm thinking I simply knock it out. Oh boy, here we go. Nope, don't let it roar you, don't let it roar you. One car no. Hey buddy. Just have to be careful. There's a bunch of alphas on the left hand side of me. And by left hand side I mean like right over there towards the towards the car no sign. moving. Stay still, man. Okay. That is exactly what I didn't want. And now we're running straight for the Alpha Cardinals. Oh boy. I'm gonna have to hop off. Oh. Oh. Oh no, that's the aloe pack, that's the aloe pack. Oh, just keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. No, not to the aloe pack, not to the aloe pack, man. Mm. Okay. Oh, what an experience, okay. Turn around. All right, still there. Okay, comes a car now. Oh yeah, I think it's Torpor running.
Oh, it's out. It's out. It's out. Perfect. Okay. And I don't think anything's gonna attack it. Okay. Nope. Nope. Don't go that way. Yeah, I don't think anything attacks these guys. Um, like, they don't have any predators or anything like that. Okay. So, I believe... Honestly, I think if I just, like... Uh, if I just shove a bunch of meat on this guy, they take my... Which I do not have any of, but I have plenty of prime, right? And once again, I don't really care what level it comes out as. Um, Looks like the mammoth might be ready sometime soon too. Gonna feed some narcotics. Okay. So as long as that alpha stays over there, we should be good. So let me let this guy tame up. Um, He's probably going to tame faster than the mammoth, honestly. This is a male, so we need a female. Think of that, it's going to get five levels. Yeah, 25%. Yeah, this will tame up quick. Um, oof, Uteranus is done, baby. All right, come here, buddy. All right, so now we got to get you home. So here's what we're going to do. You're going to follow. Um... You're gonna follow on the lowest setting. You're gonna you're gonna follow as closely as possible here, buddy. We need to skirt the alpha, which is over there somewhere. We just need to head this way. Check this out: Castroid saddle, and ascendant electric prod. Much better booties. And once again, small elevators. Okay, that is not bad at all. Only problem. Oh, he can carry it. Look at that. 95%. Oh, well, I have no idea how this guy survived. Um, there's a rhino here. <laughs> there's a dead car now. Okay, only has 2,000 health, which is slightly problematic, um, because there is an army of things that wants to kill us at the bottom of this mountain. Um, 45, yeah, so this guy's got 2,000 health, um, this guy is <laughs> got 2,000 health. certain how I'm going to deal with this, but I'm going to try. You need to see this. Um, Carno Island, Red Drop, bases over there, Industrial Forge, and a Rocket Terry, whatever that is, never used one. Um, I don't think I'm going to start now. Wow. I don't think I've mentioned it, um, but the, um, the mammoth died. <laughs> um, the mammoth died, it came over here, there's only like this level 60 um, 
Casteroid, so I I'm taming this one up. I mean, really, there we go. It's nothing. It's nothing crazy, but it will do for the time being. I do believe. Um, let's see how much wood we can gather with this baby. Yeah, look at that. Ninety-two. If only I wasn't stuck in this guy. Okay. my mind you go back to three thank you stay away from me yeah just like that 400 wood okay so so i think this will definitely do um i mean for for right now especially just because i'm not planning on ooh, 100 and he's pretty uh, but nah don't need him uh, I'm not planning on doing anything crazy with the building just yet, so. We got this guy. Um, the mammoth did die. And never even I didn't even recover the sound. I barely got out of there with uh, with the berry. And honestly, like, I panicked. I panicked so much. There was, like, a level 140 dire wolf um, and some carnos that showed up. And they just, like, started massacring. Um, I had like 2,000 health in like in an instant. It was just gone. So, so yeah, that 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 unfortunately happened. Um, but it's okay. It's okay. We'll just we'll find another one. It's not such a big deal. Um, oh, and this guy collects berries too, so that's nice. Look at that berry stash. Its weight is ridiculously low, but it's still. I mean, it's probably not as bad if I wasn't... Let me, let me check this out real quick. If I toss... Okay, if I toss everything in him... Nah, it's still pretty bad. Okay. <laughs> so the weight's pretty bad, but it's still... I mean, it's still collecting much more wood than I would be able to. Um, definitely at a faster rate. And I'll probably be, you know, it'll it'll level up slowly as I collect all the things. Like, kill the copy. There you go. And I think if I just do that, it'll help me out a bit. Welcome back, everybody. I do not have a Uteranus in my sights just yet. I um, haven't even uh, headed in that direction just. But, ho ho ho. Okay. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, I will 100% take that. Um, can you carry me? No, you can't. Okay. Just. Follow me back. Um, I was hoping to fly in here so I could show you guys what's going on. Um, but I've been doing, well, I did I did one run of wood and one run of stone. And honestly, it was a lot more successful than I thought it would be. Wait, am I going the wrong way? I am going the wrong way. You're going to see it in just a second. So what I what I ended up doing is I ended up just making a line of the, tri um, the trikes. And the trikes have been my little carriers, which, you know, I think in some aspects they're meant to do that just because of um, just because of how much weight they can handle, uh, which is not too much. They can only handle like six stacks of uh, six stacks of stone, a little bit, probably seven or eight of wood, or such. Um, but I have five of them, so it's been you know it's been more than enough to get things going. And as you can see here, um, the base is coming into view. Look at that. So. Uh, yeah, I am making a second level there. Ooh, got another drop right there. This is like drop central. I'm glad I decided to live here. Um, but making a second level, the first level is really just storage. Um, still have to make some signs and really going to organize it. And then the that's the first level. I'm sorry. The second level is actually going to be the crafting area. Um, the crafting area with the refrigerators is where I'll put the generator and everything like that. 
and I'm going to make a little central area just between the trees where I'm going to land the flyers, where I'm going to, you know, just post uh, post the dinos that I'm currently using. So all of these trikes here. Oh my God! Can you chill out, Tyrannodon? Like he flies so fast, but only when I'm not on him, apparently. Just just chill out, chill out. Just stay right there. Um, so let me show you something really quickly, and I'm going to grab some stuff off of this guy. There we go. Oh, apparently I grabbed too much. There, now I should be able to move. So as you can see, you just got some pillars holding everything up. I'm going to add a little bit more detail here with some hanging um, railings, as I like to do. Um, but this is this is pretty much the area. So i got the refrigerators up there. Uh, this smithing table is going to go upstairs right here. Um, there's only going to be, I think... Actually, I don't think there's anything gonna. There's not gonna be anything here whatsoever. Got a nice little water tank so I can fill up. A place for the blueprints, and then I ended up doing this little thing right here. Um, so this is a little interesting. Uh, you're actually able to reach up there. So I'm gonna, you know, do. This is pretty much all the, like the crafting materials, the things that are already crafted up. Um, but I have like a. That's the bottom one. Wait, which one am I opening? Okay, there we go. So I got the top ones completely full of wood. Bottom one has a little bit more wood in it. And over here, really just trying to maintain myself organized. Um, got ammo, got saddles, perfect. And this one's just gonna be blueprints for everything that I have so far. Um, the only annoying part really is just carrying all of this stuff in as I complete it. Still need to get a table in here, which I haven't done because apparently a table requires metal, which I didn't really have that much of, um, so I couldn't really put it together. Um, but I have these refrigerators up here. This one's actually making some, some meat jerky. You can see I have some vegetables that I've pretty much I've just picked up and I'm putting the eggs in here. We need to tame up an over over raptor so that we can get that stuff going. Um, I'm gonna do the same thing I did there. I'm just gonna do here. So we'll just have um, just a centralized storage system, which will be very, very nice. I don't know why you can put hide in a preserving bin, but you know, whatever. Um, and yeah, so let me drop is done okay <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna there's a red drop over there isn't there I think I see it we might have a change of plan folks um, just found myself a 140rg Honestly, I'm pretty sure I can tank it. Um, kill two alphas. This guy's up to like 100 and or 5,000 health now. So just let it hit me a couple times. Chase it down. Just make sure that it runs in like the direction towards the base. And I got plenty of prime on me. Come on, hit it. And it's down. Boo. Okay. Um, hmm. Look at this. 140 female Argentavis. Oh my god, that's insane. Okay, um, I know I have a bunch of traps, and I hope, uh, not traps, spikes, and I'm right. 
by the house. So I'm just gonna run home real quick, grab the spikes, come back, put the spikes around this thing, um, and shouldn't be a problem getting prime meat. Ooh, you are gorgeous. Ooh. This is... This is just the day. Okay. Uh, that's pretty awesome. 130. 140. 130. on 140. Uh, Arjun Tavis. Uh, oof. My god. A berry. The berry. I, I, I attribute it 100% to the berry. I think the berry has worked its magic where's the tapajara i don't know where it is there's a bunch of purple drops um and honestly i can't even get them um i've picked up like two look at this uh well this is from killing the the alphas look at all this prime um yeah that's from killing the alphas and and a couple of drops that i picked up but i'm already almost full on weight so the rg is just going to be a lifesaver I wish I could tame it with kibble, though. And I don't have any mutton. This guy should have a bunch of prime on them. Oh, they all spoiled. So the Carnos are mating, and every time a Carno is born, um, because I've been working on the base, haven't been able to like put it together. So, so he just like the scorpion just like kills the baby. Um, sounds horrifying, I know. I'm just gonna. I'll sort through this later. Saddles. Uh, boom, boom, boom. And what I should be doing is carrying like a good amount of narcotics on me. That's the stuff we can just dump. Um, sure. Okay. Just eat one of those right now and spikes the spikes okay how'd you even get in here now this bronto is just ridiculous look at this he's just murdering himself man away from it big man wait why isn't that taming that was supposed to be taming okay we're good it's taming could you not he hit the RG oh my god to wake it up oh my god oh, dude okay um hmm. all right let me let me figure out what i'm gonna do about that that's so ridiculous oh how life is Bittersweet. Um, no, no. Get off the Anki. Uh, there's a 145 Anki right here. I'm just looking for something to feed the RG, and I, I run into a 145 Anki. Okay, um, I think we're gonna forget about the. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna forget. I really need that guy to wake up. We're gonna forget about the Uteranus for, for today. Um, we will come back to it, but. We will forget about it. I just need, I need this guy to wake up. I fed it all the narcotics I have. So literally like nothing else I can do at this point. Uh, let's put this guy on passive. And you. Come on. I don't think there's headshots on these guys, is there? I wonder if I could get him over towards the RG. Come on.
Uh, that's a hyena down. Uh, that's a hyena down. I need to kill this first. Oh, he's a 120. Hmm. We're not taming a hyena down as well. I don't even know what you need to tame these guys. I've never tamed one. Dude, back off, back off, back off, back off. How are you still alive? My god. Okay. I'm sorry, Yankee. I'm sorry. That was that was a mistake. A mistake on my part. I apologize. Let's be friends. Looking a little bloody now. Uh... Yeah, he's running low. Okay, perfect. So we need a little bit of wood. Um, I already know exactly what I'm going to do with this guy. So let me get this done. Uh, wait for the RG to wake up, starve this guy out, and then come back hopefully uh, to the end of the episode with a 145 Anki and a 140 RG. The RG is awake. Okay. And it is stuck, thankfully. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so you need to chill. You need to go on first passive. Okay, let's feed it the car now. Okay, okay, okay. Looking pretty healthy here. I hope the crossbow doesn't crap out on me. And I even killed a Fionia and a little baby Fionia, which I brought over, uh, which is just going to give me the prime that I need to tame this guy. Okay. Just need to watch its wings. Looks like, looks to be full health. Oh, I missed. pretty healthy here see a little bit of see a little bit on its uh, wings um, nothing's around here right no And he's out. Okay, perfect. Now, is it still hungry? Oh, yes. Okay, still food is down by 2,000. Um, I think that should be enough, actually. So let me harvest this baby up. Oh, yeah. Plenty. Okay, come on. percent okay we've lost one level oh and we only lost one level okay that is beautiful um, that is so awesome now do I have Argentavis Hide, fiber, chitin. Yeah, I should have plenty. Uh, I should have all of that, actually. Okay. 
This is pretty awesome. Um, how much food are you down by? I don't think that's updated in a while. Oh no, it is updated. Hmm. Nowhere near enough over there, honestly. Okay, so you, here, just take that. Carry this stuff because I cannot equip it and turn it on. Let's go, baby. I think I might have found the perfect, the perfect female. Um, there's a very good reason why she's the perfect female. It is because she's stuck over there, and she's only level fifteen. Oh, this is, this is just too good to be true. I'm gonna do this without even getting feared once. Come on, good. And she's down, okay. Um, now we need Prime. Don't tell me these are Carno babies. Oh my god. I mean... Doesn't really get more perfect than that, does it? Um, yeah, I had to kill your baby. I'm so sorry. Okay, so here's the plan. We're going to kill this car now. And I realized that Beauty actually needs to starve out a bit. Um, so let me find the rest of the babies. Where are you guys at? Oh my god. Um, 15? Let me kill. Let me kill the actual parents. I'm gonna kill the. I'm gonna kill the Carnos, um, and then I'm gonna kill the juveniles. But I'm not gonna harvest the juveniles. Okay, so you're dead. You gotta die. I'm so sorry, little Carno. Oh, I think. It It. Okay. There's a second one here. Um, okay, so those are dead. Perfect. If you're wondering while I'm putting salmon in, it's just uh, just to make sure that I'm safe. Um, okay. Now this guy or this gal, this is right here. Oh, this is just. Okay, Torpor, food's going down. I'm just gonna pump like 20 into you. And I mean, honestly, I don't really care about. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't really care about the level. Um, I mean, it's level 15, so yeah. Yeah, take it. Oh, five of them. Now, can I make a Uteranus saddle now? I think the silica pearl, yeah, the silica pearls are the problem. 125 of them. Um, everything else I have, but silica pearls I do not. Okay, Anki's done. Um, Anki's done, but I'm gonna wait for this guy to tame up and then I'm just gonna have him follow me down the mountain. I mean, it's a thousand meters, all right. Um, it's a thousand meters, and the only thing that I can hope for is that nothing attacks a UD. Um, I'm really hoping nothing attacks a UD. 
I'm out of food myself too. Crap. Got so many points available. Um, ooh, got bolts, Quetzal saddle, or so we're gonna need that. Um, I'll learn that. Chemistry bench, yes. Absorbent, yes, for the gas mask. Boom. Industrial cooker. Okay, we're gonna learn that. Okay. We made it to the Inky. Um, just this level 5 day down, which shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, gone. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Inky's 214. I think it was 245, right? Um. It was 245. Whatever, how many levels those are. I don't know. Okay, so we got the Anki in tow, we got the Uteranus in tow, come on. And the Quetzal is somewhere, did it land? I think the Quetzal landed. No, 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 this is enough for today, this is enough for today. We just need to make it through here. Come on, buddy. Come on, big girl. Come on, big girl. Come this way. coming yeah you're coming come on stop pooping or eating, whatever you're doing, just, just, we're so close. Don't go into the water. There's a bunch of megalodons, of megalodons in there. So, once again, <laughs> I know these uteranses are extremely low level. They're not really useful for fighting, for taking into boss fights, for doing anything with that. Right? Like, not at all, not not in the least but the beautiful part about these guys is that they lay um special eggs and i think they're literally categorized as special eggs are you following me now yes you are come here come here so they lay special eggs and check this out so the special eggs Let's pop one out really quickly, and this will be the end of this episode, because it is long enough already, um, and I'm trying to make them not as long anymore. Um, yeah, I'm trying to make them not as long anymore, so yeah, that's a that's a thing. While they make that egg, we'll get the saddle that we have for the Anki. Okay, let's clean this up a little bit. So this guy is no longer going to be used, really. Um, he can just chill out over here. Pump some weight into him just in case I ever need him. Barry, you're still my number one guy, my man. Dodo, you really... You really shouldn't be here. Oh, wait. Really shouldn't be here. This is not a good place for you to be. Okay, so let's check something first. Do I have... You're not really needed anymore, either. Yeah, I have only only have 95 pearls. So definitely don't have enough pearls for, for a saddle for that that guy, unfortunately. Um, in here, we should... That's a Dodicarus, Sarko... This is an NQ saddle, right? It's not the best saddle or anything, um, but it is a saddle nonetheless. Which means... What's going on? Oh, I was like, why isn't it moving? Which means we have an Anki. Oh my god, we have an Anki. We have a 
the castoroids. All we need is the doehead and a higher level. One of these. Sarah, you beautiful, beautiful, majestic beast. You're the one that got us to this point. So thank you so much, Sarah. You're Sarah, Sarah, Sarah's the MVP. 100% Sarah's the MVP. Boom, done. Okay. So this is a Uteranus egg. Um, level 24 and 22. This is so horrible. But this baby, if we come in here, oh, look at it. It's so pretty. This baby lets us make the extraordinary kibble. Look at that. All we need is the Lazarus chowder. Okay, the Lazarus chowder and giant bee honey. The Lazarus chowder takes a bunch of long grass. I have some long grass going in here. I don't have a beetle, I don't have fertilizer, nothing like that. Um, I just put that crop pot down, which by the way, I need another woodstone fiber thatch. With stone fiber thatch. Boom. Done. Stone uh, fiber crop. Just make a medium one. I don't, I don't really want a large one right now because uh, I have nowhere to put it. But there's two specific things that you need in order to make this. Um, just going to put that down there. And... We're gonna need some seeds, citronal seeds, I believe it is. Um, no, sava roots. Come on, give me them seeds, baby. Seriously, uh, I don't think those are it. What do you got? Um, those are long grass, yeah. Don't need long grass, I need Sava root seeds, which I think are the spiky looking ones. Seriously, nothing? Just a bunch of, what is this? Rock carrots? No, we don't even rock carrots. Give me the spiky seeds, man. My god, it might be faster if I just do this by hand. There it is. Alright, that's the one seed that I need. Um, <laughs> Alright, we'll take these because I'm going to use these in a second. Sava root seed. Perfect. Alright, follow me. You're too slow to ride you all the way back. Okay. So Sava Root and the long grass is what we need to make the chowder. Now once the chowder is actually made, well, that's it, right? Like, that's, that's it, that's the end of the story. Um, who's got the biggest poops? You, sir, got the biggest poops. Chop, chop. Mm. Give me the poop, give me the poop. Oh yeah, I didn't show you guys, but I got a saddle for that guy. Um, yeah, I got a saddle for that guy. He's uh, still doesn't show me how long it's gonna take for it to mate again, so that's a little annoying. Um, but we can just do this. No, 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 no. This. Boom. It should be watered because we have the water tank. Bam! Look at that. I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna throw another one of these poops over here just to keep this one going. Perfect. Um, obviously, the poop doesn't work as well as the fertilizer or anything like that, but it works well enough, and I believe I have something here that helps us a little bit more. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um, it made, it made all the grass around us grow. 
that's what that does. Okay. I think I was just a little mistaken on that uh, that particular usage there. But sure, I'll take the fiber. Just trying to do it without hurting anything. All right. So I think we pretty much have everything that we need. Um, next episode. Next episode, next episode, next episode. We're going to the Redwoods. We are going to the Redwoods, baby. Like, I, I have some Sever Root in here. I already have some Long Grass. Heck, I even have some Lazarus Chowder. And what else do we need? The honey. The honey. That's that's literally all that we're missing is the honey. Uh, Medjo Berries are no problem. For the Lazarus Chowder, you just need... Long grass, narcotic, and savory. And cooked meat, which cooked meat is like the easiest thing, right? It's not even like the prime meat or anything. Like, honestly, I think it's uh, it's a little cheaty. It's a little cheaty how easy that is. Okay. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. I am so happy right now. How much longer until you mate, though? I don't know how long I'm going to have to wait. Maybe I should hatch that egg. If I hatch that egg and I get a female, oof, bunch of lower level females just making me eggs. Yes, 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 yes. That's the best. I can't believe I didn't even consider that. Okay, come on, you're coming with me. We're gonna need a whole bunch of food. Uh, which you, I just, look at this, boom. Um, melee on that guy. Can I hatch it? Too cold? Seriously, that's it? That's the only problem? That's the only problem we got? My man. That ain't a problem at all. Come here. <laughs> One of the, I think it's the last stack of wood that I have. What if I light this baby? Is it still too cold? Torch. It is still too cold. All right, hang on a second. We're gonna hatch this. We're gonna hatch this baby. Okay. Five, four. Three, two, one. <laughs> Look at the little baby. My little baby. Oh my god, you are so frightening. Who are you like? You like you like that one. You like the one on the left. Yeah. Look at the little baby. Now be a female. Are you a female? I have to imprint on you, don't I? Oh my god, it is a female. Oh, that is so perfect. Okay. Uh, can you not? You can't hold anymore. Wait, where can I put? I'm so confused. Uh, I can't put more food in it? Oh, that is, that is, that is annoying a little bit. Can you turn around for me, baby? And follow one. Oh, look at that. Look at this little. Look at the little baby. Oh my god. Another female, which means we're just going to be able to get the eggs going um, significantly faster. So in the next episode, in the next episode, folks, what we're going to go ahead and do is we are going to head on over to the Redwoods. And hopefully in the Redwoods, we're going to tame ourselves some giant bees. Um, and a tire bear. I want a tire bear so bad. 
Um, yeah, it's probably going to be a dire bear. Uh, dire bear, then the giant bees. I think I should have enough polymer to get myself a little ghillie suit. Um, and we are going to get this done, everyone. So thank you so much. This was a wonderful episode. I think we're making significant progress here. Um, and heck, I might even say, besides the teams, we're, we're further ahead than we were in the last one. In the last one, we didn't even have uh, the exceptional or extraordinary kibble. Um, so this is amazing. This is awesome. Um, thank you so much, everyone. Have yourselves a wonderful rest of the day. And leave a like for this little baby.